Hello and welcome to my channel TechTube. My name is Amulli and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.8 on Microsoft Windows 10. As you can see this is Microsoft Windows 10. In case if you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1 you should not have any issue downloading and installing Python 3.8 on your system following this video instruction alrighty so if this is the very first time you are stopping by my channel please like share and subscribe to my channel if you like the video please hit the like button if you don't like you can hit the thumbs down button as well so without any further ado let's go ahead and download and install Python on the system so go ahead and launch your preferred browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. You can use Firefox, Edge, Opera, or Google Chrome. Now, once you have your browser up, go to python.org. This is official website for Python. So you definitely want to download Python from this official website. Once you are on this website, go ahead and put your cursor on this downloads button and then hit windows tab here now you can see you've got two releases the very first one is python 3 latest release which is 3.8.2 at this moment so anytime you land on this page you will always get the latest release of 3 or 4 if you come on this video uh, and Python 4 is released now the other link is for Python 2 which is Python 2.7.18 there are a lot of applications and software still use the Python 2 and there are many people who need Python 2 so if you want to download and install Python 2 you can go ahead and click this button but but this video is about Python 3 installation on Windows so I'm going to click the very top link here and definitely you want to do the same so go ahead and click here and now you can see this is a release date 24th February 29 uh, 2020 and these are some major improvements and deprecation on this page as you can see uh, to download and install Python we need to download these binaries basically executable uh, files on our system so go ahead and uh, scroll down to the files section here and you can see these downloads are for Windows so these three are for 64-bit operating systems these three are for 32-bit operating system so make sure you check your operating system and system type so to check system type you can press Windows key and pause break button on the right top and you can see it says system type 64 bit so on your system it could be 32 bit if you're using older uh, system configuration so for this video I'm going to download the 64 bit okay you can go with this web based installer or executable this is zip so you do not want to download the zip however the file size is going to be less than these two okay so since it this is 64-bit operating system I'm going to download the web based installer 64-bit okay you can go with any of these two the process is going to be the same if you download this zip you will have to unzip it and then uh, install it so let's go ahead and click on here and this will start start the download and here you can find the executable installer so basically web-based executable installer if you're using any other browser so please locate this file and hit on it once and you'll see this says python 3.8 64-bit setup okay so python 3 comes with this button okay if you check this you will not have to uh, set 
Python to the systems path manually. So make sure you check this box. Hold on and make sure you check this box. Otherwise, you will not be able to execute Python from anywhere on your computer. So make sure you check this box and then you simply go ahead and click this install now button which will include idle pip and documentation in case if you do not need the documentation because that is going to take space on your system click on customize and i do not see any uh, okay here we go so here you can uncheck the documentation and this will go ahead and install pip tcl and tk and idle python test suite file launcher as well alrighty so I'll go ahead and I can go back and then hit install or if you are on this page optional features you can say next alright so these are a few more options and this is where it's going to be installed on your system okay so go ahead and say install hit yes on the windows user account control and we almost have python 3.8.2 installed on the system so once it's installed i'll quickly go ahead and show you how you can check the python version and the you can uh, you can list the packages installed with this default Python installation okay so we are almost done here okay this time installation time may vary depending on the internet speed so you can see setup was successful that's the message now I can say close now if I go ahead and launch my command prompt make sure you relaunch okay your command prompt and then you say python hyphen uppercase v I've got python 3.8.2 I can also say uh, pip list so this is going to list all the packages that we have installed on the system so uh, in order to check the pip version you simply say pip hyphen uppercase v and you've got pip 20.02 okay you can get into python's interactive shell just by typing python in the command prompt and you can uh, run the command python commands here And it works you can perform all the arithmetic operations here all right to exit you simply say exit exit is a function so you'll have to give this double parenthesis I'm out of this command now let me quickly go ahead and create an application basically hello world right in a file and then execute it so when you install python for the very first time this is what you get okay python has been somewhere on your system you will get something over here uh, on my system it should have created a folder so here we are so if you don't see on the top you simply scroll down and you can launch this idle so you should not have any issue complaining that you're not able to launch idle okay so you can use this idle as well Oh, 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 okay, here we go. 
f5, f6. So it's working now. That's that's an improvement in 3.8.2, I guess. Before we had to press f5 to execute it, it's more like interactive shell. Uh, so it's working perfectly. Like more like the interactive shell in the uh, command prompt. So it's working here. You can see here. It's more like the same. So. I can hopefully exit like the same so it's working more like command prompt Python interactive shell the other thing I would like to show you you can go ahead and create uh, I would use something like sublime text so go ahead and launch your sublime text or any editor of your choice and I'm somewhere here so I'm going to create a new file and name it hello.py so whenever you create a python file you save this file with .py extension and you can start writing your python in here so let's say name equals tube I can say print name I can also say print Hello world now you have to save it okay and then navigate to do this folder so navigate to navigate to this folder I have something already set up so this is where this folder is now what to run it you simply have to say pi and then the name of file so it's going to work you can see so this is how you uh, create a Python file and execute it so basically what I'm trying to say uh, I will have to navigate to this folder in order to execute this Python file. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. Please do not forget to subscribe to my TechTube channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye for now.